Okay, uh, boys and girls, here we are in front of the uh, Polestar um, uh, booth um, here in, uh, in Vancouver, and I'm standing in front of the concept car, the, uh, the BST. Um, this is brand new. Um, it's only been shown three times in the world, and uh, I'm kind of really impressed. What I, I can't go in, I can't touch, <laughs> it's like, uh, but I can tell you what I'm seeing. And what I see here is, um, is a vehicle that's not the type of prototype that I would normally get. Um, again, uh, I just mentioned on the Rivian that, you know what, the gaps and whatnot are all perfect. This one has got the same sort of a deal. This looks like a production vehicle to me. So this one's got 22 inch wheels uh, and they're forged. And the forged wheels mean that they're gonna be uber strong. Oh, I see. They're uber strong, and if we look over here, you can see how thin these, these ribs are and whatnot. That means that it's forged, and it's forged out of an alloy that is gonna be racing compliant. I'm guessing that this is going to be a real competitor to Tesla. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to be with this car is because of that. There is no wing mirror. This is a camera. As you can see, when you come around the corner, there is no mirror there. This is a camera. Um, obviously, these guys are betting on the future and aren't listening too much to the old folks at Nishta. Having a look inside is just elegant, clean, clear. Everything I like to see if I was in a sports car is what I see here. How these work, I have no clue. Um, I've never seen a set of straps like that and I, I don't see any seat belts in the back so this is kind of like maybe some new concept but I will tell you here that this is really spectacular. Now <clears throat> these are called, this is called an active spoiler and if we look here you can see that it's got shock absorbers. Now normally, or uh, air shocks, normally I'd, I'd want to find out where the sweet spots are this thing probably is, uh, is going to be uh, uh, controlled based on aerodynamic uh, characteristics that the car is going to sense from the wheels, or from the suspension, I should say. If we have a look at the back, you can see that there's little louvers here. This is the same kind of stuff that I would see on an F1 type of a vehicle. Um, I'm guessing that there is some kind of a trunk here, but um, I have no idea how much volume it would have. And, Quite frankly, if I've got a, an open top car like this, um, there's got to be a convertible uh, a top here somewhere. I see some connectors now. I didn't see them before, but I can see the little chrome things up there. So probably on the very top, they've got the, the convertible top. And then underneath, down below, there's probably a, a small amount of storage. Anyways, I'd like to thank the guys at Polestar for letting me uh, get in here and have a look at the uh, BST, but <laughs> beast, it just dawned on me. So this is, a, this is a really fun time for me here in Vancouver. Um, thank you Polestar people for letting me uh, get in uh, behind the curtain here. Thanks, keep watching, there's more to come, bye.